In this video, we're going to show you how you can add your own customized PFMEA form here. You can see the standard one that comes with the product right here. And what we're going to do is add another one to the, uh, the listing here. So when I go here, I close out of this, don't save it. I go to my PFMEA here. You can see I've got two forms that's in here now. PFMEA, Process, Failure, Mode and Effects Analysis. And the same for Design, Failure, Mode and Effects Analysis. So we want to add another one in here. So let's say it's your company. PFMEA form. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to go to File and we go to Options and we go to General Options and in here we go to Settings and down here we have our Work Construction Configuration area here. Now the PFMEA is just a format of the Work Constructions. So if I open it here you will see here Here's my PFMEA and my DFMEA. They're already listed in here. We're going to add another one. Now, if you watch one of the other videos in the section on PFMEA, you'll know that you have to name it with FMEA contiguous right next to each other to get it to show in your listings here. But otherwise, it's basically the same as any other work instruction. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new one here. And I'm just going to call it uh, XFM. Right. I give it a name. This is a key thing where you put the name in here. So I'll just get a custom PFMEA. You can call it anything you want. So I don't even have to put P in front. I could put an X if you want in, it, in here. FMEA is what it's looking for here. And create from. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and I'm going to look for the FMEA. So it's, it's the FMEA is the one that we want to bring up here. So we select the FMEA template here. So I have everything now. This is going to create a new one. It's going to call XFM here. And I click on the OK. And it will bring it up now. It looks exactly like the other one, obviously. But here you can change it any way you want. Design anything you'd like in here. Um, you can watch the videos that we show you in the uh, section in the video library. I'll go back over here and show it. Section number 18 here. You probably want to look at this before you actually go in here. It'll give you an idea of what you can and cannot do. I'm just going to make a simple change here. And I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to type in here custom ink. So this is the only change I'm going to make here right now for this here. And maybe I want to make that bold just so you can see it better. So I'll do bold and maybe make it... Yeah, let's see it make it uh, 24 good that's it there right so we've made a change here and then of course you would enter your data as you would otherwise you double click on it and you're going to select where you want the data to go if you want to save uh, this as a new format you do have to bring one up and let's just say i just want to use that and then click on the save button here this is very important so you always have to bring this up and do a save this is actually creating a configuration file that complements the excel sheet that you have right here and then I will close out of this. So now if you go back here and I open it now, you will see I now have a custom XFMEA here. So what I do then is I close out of here. And if I want to generate it here, I go here. Now the custom appears as one of the options. The X is uh, the prefix to it. So the FMEA again is the important item here. And I'm going to select that format, click on the OK. I'm going to come in here. I'm you can call it uh, custom one, C-U-S-T-1. And just click on the open and say, OK. And you'll see it starts to fill the, the customized one that you created. OK, so it's very easy to uh, create your own customized version of the PFMEA form to suit your own particular company needs. And we also advise, don't forget to look in this area here, section number 18 of the work instructions. And here's the area about how to name your PFMEA, this particular video right here, if you want a little bit more information on the naming here. Now, if you want to look behind the scenes as to what's happened here, let's go back and bring back up the setting options here. So I'm going to open up this particular one here, which is the one I just created, the custom XFMEA. If I go to the uh, File Explorer here, You'll find this file under the Libraries, Documents. Here's Applied Computer Services, the name of our company. And you want to look in the Templates folder and then sort it by name here. And if you remember right, we created a, let's see at the top here, a prefix XFM here. That's our prefix for this here. And if you scroll down here and you look and you see what's happened, here's the XFM. 
Now there's two files being created. There's the XLS M, which of course is the one you see right in the background here, the one that we put the custom ink in for here. Uh, but there's also another one here called XFM Instructions config.cfg. This is a configuration file, and that is a file that's created when you double click here and it brings it up and you just click on the save. That will create the, uh, the CFG file and the, the work instructions and the uh, process failure mode and effects analysis will not work without the CFG file. So every single XLSM file must have a configuration file complementing it for it to work correctly in Timer Pro. So that's why when you're creating your customized PFMEA, don't forget to double click anywhere here just to bring up the prompts. You can select different fields, obviously, but when you're finished, always hit the Save button right here, and that will actually create the, uh, the template for you. You can see the time down here, 2.16 p.m. So if I go back over here now, here's this file, 2.16 p.m. So this is how you can create your own customized PFMEA forms.